everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing something that we have done here on the channel before. If you guys remember, I think it was like eight or nine months back. It may have even been sooner than that. It may have even been later than that, Brad. I can't freaking remember. But today, I am going to be restarting WWE. I'm going to take over WWE as if it started right now. If Vince McMahon stepped down, he said, you know what, MDT, Trey, you know, Brad, you you're going to take over this company right here. And I were to step in right now, what I would do if I were to take over WWE. Now, I am going to keep some of the rules and stuff. Obviously, last time I did change titles. I switched guys from shows. I did all kinds of stuff, and we brought back old title designs. We did a lot of crazy-ish, but this time I am going to try to keep it in the realm of possibility. That way, it's not too far-fletched and, you know, too far out there. But I am going to give you guys my honest opinion on everything, what I would personally do moving forward. So everybody knows everything that's going on right now. There's no live shows. There's no nothing like that, and WWE continues to do weekly shows with no audience. Due to the pandemic, due to everything going on, everything like that, so what I am doing in this in this realm, in this secret universe, or this fantasy world where I step into WWE, we're fast forwarding in the future, okay? We're going to say three, four months down the road already, and everything's back to normal. The crowds are there. Everything's gone. You know, the, 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 the pandemic is over. Everything's reopened. Full live shows, full live crowd. Everything's good to go. Now I am stepping in right here, and what I would do is, first of all, I would go back, okay? I'd go back to, to WrestleMania 36, right? Braun Strowman defeats Goldberg for the Universal Championship. Not so fast, Brad. Okay, we're not going to pull that crap here today. We're not going to do that. That's just putting us off on the wrong foot. You know, according to me, Braun Strowman's ship has sailed way long ago. So we're just going to take your Universal Championship, Brad, and we're just going to put you off to the side for some cra crazy feuds like, like that, like some stuff that doesn't matter. If you guys know the dirt sheets, you know what the rumor was. Jeff Hardy was supposed to replace Roman Reigns, apparently, right? He was supposed to replace Roman Reigns. It was in the dirt sheets. There was a lot of people talking about it. So I'm going to go with that rumor being true, and I'm going to go with Jeff Hardy dethroning Goldberg and becoming Universal Champion. You know, I, I feel like it's been long enough for this man to have a World Championship, so this is who I would elect as my World Champion. You got a great baby face here. There's not, honestly, a ton of heels over on SmackDown side of things. That would be a front runner for the title, but in my scenario, in my fantasy world, I would have had Dolph Ziggler defeat Otis, and I would headline, this would be my main feud going forward right here, Dolph Ziggler, a heel Dolph Ziggler with Mandy Rose and Sonya, whoever, Sonya or Mandy. I would say Mandy. I, I I fantasy booked it. Mandy hitting Otis in the Nats, costing him the match, and Otis doing something else. So that's what I would have. And maybe you could have something like a feel bad storyline. I don't know. But but for now, Ziggler and Hardy is my Universal Championship going forward as we as we progress. We got a heel Ziggler versus Jeff Hardy. I think they could put on fantastic matches. Two of my favorite talents. This is what I have right here. I think that would be beautifully done. I'd love to see this. And so this is what I would have on. Smackdown. On Friday nights, this would be my main feud, at least as we start. And I guess this would be SummerSlam, right? So this is an excellent SummerSlam match. Dolph Ziggler versus Jeff Hardy. So I guess this is what we're building towards or what we're going into. SummerSlam. So August, September, that, that all deal. So let's go ahead and book that. Ziggler and Hardy for the Universal Championship. Now as we progress down the card, guys, I am going to get into the mid-card championship. So for Sami Zayn, you guys know, Intercontinental Champion. So as we fast forward, we're picking up at the end of July or the beginning of August. So, Sami Zayn has been running around with these two guys, right? Sami Zayn has been running around with Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura. So, what I would personally have is maybe Sami Zayn continues to win the championship. He continues to retain the championship. Maybe one night, you know, we're back on SmackDown. It's the first live show back from the big pandemic. Sami Zayn's still your champion. Well, for me, it's like, you know what, Brad? You've been off this whole time. We're, we're going to put you in a championship match. you got to defend that championship. So, he goes out there and he defends the championship against whoever doesn't really matter pick your poison pick your baby face he goes up there to wrestle and at the end of the show there maybe uh sammy and shinsuke are beating up on whoever it is and cesaro's like no bro after this long break i'm sick of doing your dirty work cesaro turns baby face and we have this going on shinsuke doesn't matter you know in this in this realm you know he can he can go find a tag team he can do whatever he wants but for now i'm gonna have a heel sammy Zayn going one-on-one -on -one with a baby face cesaro for the intercontinental championship that's a great mid-card feud. A lot of people feel that both of these guys are world title contenders. 
even Shinsuke, but Shin Shinsuke could stay on Sami's side or he can do his own thing, but I would have Cesaro battling it out for the Intercontinental Championship. This is an excellent mid-card feud, and that's another great SummerSlam match. Even if you wanted to split it up, maybe Shinsuke can't decide whose side he wants to be on. Triple threat match, beautifully booked right there for SummerSlam. There you go. That's what I would book for my SummerSlam card. Now, going forward, as you guys know, Money in the Bank is next month, so who the hell would I have win Money in the Bank on both sides? I would have both sides. Now, I wouldn't have just one Money in the Bank briefcase. I would have a Raw side and a, or a Raw side and a SmackDown side. So now I'm going to give you my Money in the Bank winners going into the summer. Or uh, I know I said if it shut down right now, it would shut down. We're fast forwarding three or four months. So so when I said fast forward three or four months, I was really saying like everything shut down. Like we're we're kind of pausing WWE wrestling kayfabe time and we're picking it up three or four months in the future. So I think I would still have Money in the Bank take place. So I really I, I don't know. I think I'd, I'd wait till after Money in the Bank and then I would start the shutdown. Maybe. I, I don't freaking know, man, but I gotta have my Money in the Bank briefcase holder, so let's go ahead and get those. Alright, guys, so here we go. We got both our Money in the Bank briefcases. Again, we're picking things back up. I know I don't have them red and blue or whatever, but, you know, you get the point here. So, on my SmackDown side, if you guys remember last year's Money in the Bank, who was at the top of the ladder when the thing broke down and Brock Lesnar came out? None other than Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali right here is going to grab the briefcase this year, and he doesn't have a freaking mic holding hand, so he can't really hold the Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do this right here. All right, here we go. There you go. Money in the Bank briefcase winner Mustafa Ali. There you go. You can build him up. He could cash in after SummerSlam whenever the hell he wants. The Monday night or the Friday night after SummerSlam or something maybe or something like that. But this is who I'd have win Money in the Bank. He's a fantastic talent. You know, he got robbed last year. This is a perfect time to let him win Money in the Bank because Brock Lesnar cost him last year, and I thought it was bullcrap. It would have been a great story for him winning the Royal Rumble and going on to take on Brock Lesnar for the title since. He was completely robbed of the briefcase, so that that's that's my story there. Money in the Bank winner, Mustafa Ali. Maybe Brock Lesnar could even have a feud with him going into SummerSlam for the briefcase. That'd be a badass little match right there. So Mustafa Ali and Brock Lesnar could tie it up at SummerSlam. As far as my Monday Night Raw Money in the Bank winner, it is going to be none other than Kevin Owens, okay? Kevin Owens, he's fantastic. The fact that he doesn't have two or three Money in the Banks already is a, is a damn shame, man. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, my God, if this isn't the year that he gets the Money in the Bank, I don't know what the hell it is. Now, now, the one thing I will say is over on Monday Night Raw side, guys, is that uh, if you guys watched Monday Night Raw last night, as of time of recording, Drew McIntyre was attacked by Seth Rollins, and this is going to be our feud going forward, which makes no sense. Kevin Owens defeated Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, so why the hell is Seth Rollins getting in a WWE Championship match right after he just lost to Kevin Owens? That makes no sense. I know that there's not really any heels over here. AJ Styles just lost to The Undertaker, stuff like that, but I mean, God, like everybody, every big time heel really lost, so I guess that's their reasoning, but how about we have a tournament or something, or do something to name a number one contender so Seth Rollins can justify having this contendership for the WWE Championship, not just coming out, but anyway, I'd have uh, I'd have Kevin Owens as your Money in the Bank winner. Maybe that's what they're planning, since Seth Rollins is lining up to take on Drew. Maybe Drew wins or something, and Kevin Owens is going to be the Mr. Money in the Bank. Well, that's how I'd book it, Brad. Here's my Mr. Money in the Bank uh, going into the summer and going into SummerSlam there. Uh, that's who's got that Money in the Bank briefcase. Now, as far as the Tag Team Championships are concerned on both brands, I really didn't even think that far through. I was focusing more on the main championships and stuff. Now, on this side, on SmackDown, we have the Miz and Morrison show, which I guess you could keep them as tag team champions. I would prefer them be single stars, but as for now, it's working. I don't like their, their promos right now. The promos are kind of garb, but they're putting on some pretty decent football matches, so I'm not going to deduct any football points at this juncture. But after this, I would, uh, I would highly recommend, as far as talent right here, I think uh, we would need to build up Shorty G as a singles coach. Component, I would make him Chad Gable again, and I would have him running rampant. Uh, Drew Gulak and Daniel Bryan would then be a tag team. So I'd have Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak. Let me grab my Drew Gulak. Freaking forgot about Gulak, man. With everything freaking going on, forgot that we had Gulak. So this would be a tag team on SmackDown. I'd have them first in line for the tag team championships right there. There's your tag team championship feud. Just running it over in five seconds. Trash Corbin, I'd probably cut him. Nah, I'm just kidding. But seriously, though, probably wouldn't be featured every week. He would not be a prominent role on my show. I really don't know what to do with Roman Reigns. And if you're wondering why Randy Orton is over here, the reason Randy Orton is over here is because I had Edge and Randy Orton since their WrestleMania match. You know, it was a big blow-off feud. I had them splitting brands. So I would keep Edge around as long as I possibly could because we got to have him in front of a live crowd, guys. We got to have Edge in front of a live crowd. So I would hold on to him. I'd ship Randy Orton off to SmackDown. And I guess you could do maybe Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns or uh, The Fiend versus uh, 
uh, Randy Orton, if you wanted to rehash that, I don't know. Maybe you could uh, do the same thing you did with John Cena with Randy Orton. You know, they have a long past. They have a long history of, of things like that. So maybe you could do that. So as far as Raw is concerned, I know we've done a, a ton of talk about SmackDown. Now we're shifting it over to Raw. Now for Raw, um, if you're going to have Kevin Owens win the Money in the Bank briefcase, there's not, again, like I said, there's not a lot of top heels over here. There's really not. You have Seth Rollins. You have AJ Styles. Both of them just lost. I would personally have it where you did have a number one contendership tournament. If we're going to put the number, uh, if we're going to give Kevin Owens the Money in the Bank briefcase, then my first thought would be have AJ Styles or Rollins win the number one contendership tournament. That way they actually have legitimacy coming in. I think I would go with AJ Styles. And then my second guess would be Samoa Joe. So I'd have Samoa Joe or AJ Styles be the one to uh, battle it out with Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship. That would be our SummerSlam matchup. Either Joe or Styles taking on Drew or both of them. You could even do a triple threat match. I think that would be really cool. So either two of these or all three tying up would be excellent. I would love to see that take place. Now we already have Kevin Owens with the Money in the Bank briefcase. So from there, I know we have to fill in some stuff. So my next SummerSlam headlining matchup would be Edge, a babyface Edge going one-on-one -on -one with a heel Seth Rollins. So this is what I would have right here. This is another marquee matchup that I would love to see. Hopefully we do get to see it soon um, if Edge doesn't, you know, call it a day. So this is what I would have if Edge, you know, I could keep him out of retirement. I could keep him in for SummerSlam right here. This would be an excellent match that I would love to see at SummerSlam. Now this is beautiful, man. Like the more I'm looking at this card, I mean, my God, what a stacked ass card that I'm looking at. It just shows you, man, you can do some amazing things if you don't book like shit. All right, so next up, guys, we do have some Raw Tag Team Championships, which I think I would just put the Usos versus uh, uh, versus the Street Profits, right? I mean, that's that's what I would do. I think Jay and Jimmy, it says they're on the Raw roster, but I could have sworn they were on the SmackDown roster, so I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I could ship them over to Raw then. If that's cr if that's true, I lost freaking count, man. I don't know what the hell is going on. I just have the Street Profits go battle with the Usos. That's a great football game. That's excellent stuff. Now for my big time ladder match at SummerSlam, I'm going Andrade defending the United States Championship in a big ass ladder match with all of these guys right here. Aleister Black, Ricochet, Cedric Alexander, Rey Mysterio, and Buddy Murphy. And you know what? You could even do you one better if Kevin Owens didn't have a match at SummerSlam. Just throw Kevin Owens into your ladder match. There you go. There's a big ass ladder match that makes everyone happy. There ain't, ain't a damn fool. There ain't nobody in the world that wouldn't want to see that ladder match right there. I think I'd cream my pants if I saw that ladder match. And I think that's pretty much it. I mean, our truth running around with 24-7 championship. Bobby Trashley's not featured highly on the card. So let's go ahead and run down our SummerSlam match card. If I were to restart WWE and book it how I would book it going into SummerSlam, just fantasy styling if I took over right now. So first up on the card, we do have our big ass ladder match, our United States Championship ladder match, Kevin Owens versus Buddy Murphy versus Rey Mysterio versus Andrade versus Aleister Black versus Ricochet versus Cedric Alexander. Next up on the card, guys, we do have our marquee matchup, Seth Rollins taking on Edge, another beautiful looking football game. For the Raw Tag Team Championships, we have the Usos taking on the Street Profits, another great football game that I would love to see. For the SmackDown Tag Titles, we do have Gulak and Daniel Bryan, and they are taking on Miz and Morrison, so we gotta get Miz and Morrison up here. We're running out of room right here. Everybody's falling the hell down. So there's that. Next up, we have our Triple Threat Intercontinental Championship match between Daniel Bryan, Psych, Sami Zayn, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Cesaro. Our Universal Championship match, actually, let's let's wait on that. We have our Money in the Bank briefcase match, so uh, the winner does go out with the Money in the Bank briefcase. We have Mustafa Ali defending his briefcase that he recently won versus the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar, stemming from their feud from last year's Money in the Bank. And then our two main events, or three, or, or whatever. If you want to include The Fiend versus Randy Orton, you could, but let's move on to the WWE Championship. You have Drew McIntyre taking on Samoa Joe or AJ Styles or both, whichever one. Let me know down in the comment section below. And finally, we have the Universal Championship match, Jeff Hardy versus Dolph Ziggler in a marquee match. I don't know about you guys, but you throw the women in there as well. I think I'd have Ronda return if I could. I would have Rhea Ripley battling with Becky. I mean, you, you could do all kinds of stuff with the women. I, I was so focused on the men's stuff that, you know, you could just throw the women. I would love to hear your thoughts on the women's division down in the comment section below. They're really lacking a lot, man. If my lamp just turned off, what the hell is that? But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for my I Restart WWE and Take Over. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. What do you think about that uh, SummerSlam card? I'll probably pin it in the comment section, maybe. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name toys and i will see you guys in the next video <gasps>
Thank you.